Hi there and many thanks for being here today. If it is your first time here, I'm Alex Beldi and I dedicated years documenting wildlife in their natural habitat, helping their conservation in the front lines. In today's video, I'm going to share with you some of the teachings and what I learned from documenting wildlife and nature during all these years. If you are new on this channel and you would like to stay updated, please consider to subscribe. Thank you very much. The truth is that we are not even scratching the surface of like understanding how intelligent life on Earth is. You know, nature has its consciousness. Planet Earth is alive and has its own consciousness. It's just different from our consciousness. You know, all these species of plants, trees and other animals and insects you know, they are highly intelligent uh, beings and who evolved for millions of years. And they are highly intelligent. Generally, they have simply uh, a, a different way of being compared to ours, you know. And for some things like similar as well, you've seen the love and you know, the trees, how they communicate uh, in between them and they transfer nutrients from one to another. It's, it's mind-blowing to me, you know, it's so beautiful. And again, there is so much we still need to learn about, again, how intelligent life on, on, on Earth is. So I know it might seem absurd, you know, to some people, but, you know, all the insects and all like life in general and even you know rocks and the mountains and the ocean you know they have their own consciousness it's just different from our consciousness so i think we're again maybe in in the future maybe i don't know how many generations will take but i hope that we'll be able to understand more about life on earth and see it eventually with different eyes you know just not from an anthropocentric point of view but to see ourselves like, you know, part of the ecosystems and part of, of creation in general. I honestly think that we are, you know, a lot behind in understanding life on Earth. And, you know, often it's even beyond the understanding through science. It's even more than that. So in order for us to understand more, we have to go beyond that as well. You know, Edgar Case has a very interesting quote and uh, I think he's very right in his words. So um, check it out. By awakening the Native American teachings, you come to the realization that the earth is not something simply that you build upon and walk upon and drive upon and take for granted. It is a living entity. It has consciousness. Edgar Case. Hey guys, if you found this video useful, it will be great to know what was the part that you enjoyed the most in this video. So please write it in the comments below. And feel free to share it. Thank you very much. If you are new on this channel and you would like to stay updated, please consider to subscribe. Thank you very much.